Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve proportions using cross products. Now, whenever you have proportions, that means you're going to have fractions involved, and cross products often involves using cross multiplication. So the idea here is oftentimes you're going to have two fractions on opposite ends of the equal sign, and to solve it, you want to use cross multiplication. So here's an illustration. If you have, for example, 5 over 12 equals 2x over 7, let's just say, the idea here is you have proportions, 5 and 12 and x over 7, and using cross products involve cross multiplication. So just as a reminder, what you want to think about in cross multiplication is the denominator of one side is going to multiply with the numerator of the other side, and it goes with the other way around as well. So at this point, you have 12 times x, which is going to equal to 12x, and 7 times 5 is going to give you 35. So at this point, cross multiplication allows you to, for the most part, get rid of the fractions and then solve. So to solve for x, you want to divide both sides by 12. So you have 35 twelfths is equal to x because the twelfths cancel. Now, obviously, folks prefer the x used written on the left side, so you can say that x is equal to 35 over 12. So when it comes to Solving proportions involving cross products, you set the fractions up and then use cross multiplication to solve it. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief tutorial on how to solve proportions using cross products.